in this video, I'm going to show how you can uh, send sensor data from a Raspberry Pi into Azure using IoT Hub, and then ultimately visualize in real time with Stream Analytics and Power BI. So this exercise really builds upon my previous post on how to build the temperature sensor, temperature sensor standalone with Raspberry Pi. Uh, so if you haven't done so already, it's kind of a uh, prerequisite. Here's an example of the circuit here. And um, once you've got all that up and running uh, with a bit of Python code, you can spit out temperature readings out to the console. So um, if, that, if you can do that first, and then this, this post kind of builds upon that. So we'll jump over the, to the Azure portal. I've already pre-created the two resources outside of Power BI, which is obviously software as a service um, in my resource group, but I'll show you how to create the IoT Hub and the Stream Analytics job. Um, so if you go to the portal and we search for IoT Hub, it's fairly straightforward. Um, the only thing that you really need to be mindful of is when selecting the, uh, the tier, there is a free tier. Uh, so we'll just give ours like a unique name So the, there is a free tier that allows up to 8,000 messages per day. Um, uh, so mine's, I can't select it anymore because I've already kind of pre-created the resource. But if you select that, uh, most of these other options gray out because it is kind of the standard, but it's um, more than enough for the demo. So you can think of IoT Hub as essentially the gateway um, for the our IoT device, in this case, Raspberry Pi to send sensor data. Once that sensor data is coming in, uh, we'll need to use something like Stream Analytics uh, to consume that as an input uh, before we pass it on to Power BI as an output. Uh, so when you're creating a Stream Analytics job, again, it's uh, fairly straightforward outside of a unique name. Um, it's really kind of a sliding scale and for throughput around streaming units, um, leaving it at one is sufficient for the demo. So once you've got those two resources up and running, um, head over to your IoT Hub and the first thing we need to do is register the uh, device. So uh, you can see on the left-hand side, there is um, IoT devices. So if we click on add, this is where we'll be registering our, in this case, Raspberry Pi, but in obviously real world business case, um, you most likely would have you know thousands or millions of, of devices. Um, so you're probably coming up with a better ID than just Raspberry Pi, but in this case, keeping a simple, um, that's what we'll call it. Okay, so that's our device registered. Um, now we need to create a consumer group um, that our stream analytics job will look for and listen to um, as the events come in. So within IoT Hub, there's um, under messaging, we have endpoints. And you can see that the there is a already built-in endpoints and one of those is for the messaging events. So if you click on that, uh, we'll create a consumer group separate to the default one. So stream analytics consumer group. Just click save. Okay. So once you've created our consumer group, we can now head over to the stream analytics job and we'll configure our input and output. So our stream input is obviously IoT hub. One thing to watch out for when you're uh, creating your inputs and outputs in Stream Analytics, it, uh, it does allow it at this sta stage in the process to type use underscores and that's kind of a valid uh, name. But when you're writing your query, uh, it, it, inputs and outputs are expected to be alphanumeric only. So I'll just leave it all as uh, lowercase, just string. So input IoT hub, it's auto detected the hub that's within our resource. And we'll just change the consumer group to that one that we created as so a Stream Analytics consumer group. Uh, the data will be coming in a JSON format, although the rest of it's fine. So that's the input. Next, we'll configure the output. Uh, so the output in this case is a Power BI data set. So we'll just give it a name. And you'll need, Power BI will need to authorize Stream Analytics to be able to publish the data to that data set. So just log on 
Um, just remember once you have authorized uh, to click save. Okay, so that's our inputs and outputs. Our stream analytics job is kind of 80% of the way there. Uh, before we start writing the query in the SQL, um, we'll actually kick off the Pi to start sending data. So the code uh, f that I uh, for the um, Raspberry Pi is, is up on the blog. Um, so if you copy and paste this into a file, so like um, you know, RPI tempsensor.py, you just need to update a couple of variables and I've detailed those here. So the sensor device ID, um, which you know I went through in the um, the temp sensor Pi circuit is the ID of the actual temperature sensor probe, so that's updated there, and and the rest of it's just your Azure details. So your URI, your endpoint for your IoT hub, so really just the name, um, uh, your primary key, which you can find under the uh, shared access policies, policies, the IoT device IDs. So in this case, that's Raspberry Pi. We we named it Raspberry Pi. And the policy I've left it as IT Hub owner that has all you know sufficient rights to run the demo. So once you've got your script uploaded, we'll need to SSH into our Pi. Now I've stored stored my script in a folder. Uh, and we'll just kick that off. So that's it. So that. Um, it's just printing to the console, but behind the scenes, it's sending. It's using the IoT Hub REST API um, to send to send events. So the IoT Hub is essentially acting as the gateway for these messages. And now we can go back to our stream analytics job and start writing up our query. So there's our input and our output. So. On the side, I have the SQL for our stream analytics job. Okay, so ju I've just copied and pasted that from the blog site. Uh, we'll just make sure the names match up. So it's into output PDI and from input IoT Hub. But uh, before we can run the query, we, we need some sample data. So we can sample data from the IoT Hub since the Raspberry Pi is uh, actively sending at events. So if you click on the ellipses icon, um, sample data from input, I'll just say a minute. Okay, so I'll fast forward the video because that does take some time, but you can see that the sample data is back. Um, so now if we test our query, um, we can see the output that's going to be published to the Power BI data set. So I've just picked out two attributes, which is uh, the temp data that I'm sending. Um, and at the moment, it's just a constant, which is pretty warm in here, but <laughs> 24 degrees, um, as well as the event date um, that comes from the standard metadata that gets kind of attributed to each um, IoT Hub message. And we can, you can see what that it looks like if we, we just change this to select star. So the left-hand column is basically the only thing that the Raspberry Pi is sending. You can you can be as verbose or as simple as you want, but in this case, I'm just literally sending a key value of temp with the temperature reading, and then we have this all this other metadata that's coming from um, IoT Hub or being kind of appended to. So for the Raspberry Pi, uh, sorry for the Power BI visualization, I just want the date and the temperature. So. That looks good, so we'll save that. And now you can go to overview and start uh, your stream analytics job. Okay, our stream analytics job is now running. So we can head on over to Power BI. Now if you check your workspace, you should see the uh, data set uh, published. So we'll create a dashboard. And we're gonna add two tiles. Um, both of them are these custom streaming data tiles um, using the temp data set. The first one's a card and the next one will be a line chart. So we just have one field. We'll change the precision to two decimal places.
Okay, and that data point should um, update as, as we get some new data to come through. And the next tile uh, is our line chart. So we've got event date on the axis, temp as a value, and you can have a tumbling window, you know, one, five, 10, 60 minutes, we'll just leave it to the one minute. So I'll try to bring up a picture in picture now. Okay. So the the probe is a uh, waterproof. So I'll just I've got two glasses here just to show a change. So here's some ice water. We should see the temperature drop. That's yeah, significantly dropping. Okay, so that's kind of bottling them out now. And then we'll just change it over to some uh, hot water. we should see the temperature come back up. That's it. So um, all the step-by-steps -steps are detailed on the blog, um, but we've basically uh, built upon our last project of a Raspberry Pi circuit with a temperature sensor and reconfigured it to send those readings to IoT Hub every second. IoT Hub acts as the input, Stream Analytics consumes that data and then publishes a curated version um, to Power BI, uh, which we're visualizing in real time.